without further ado, we ain't going to keep this introduction long. No, no, keep it long. I want to see what you think about me. Uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> nah, don't start that shit. <laughs> don't, don't do it. Don't start that shit. Hey, man. <laughs> Tell them what you thought I did. Uh, what, one, of the, <laughs> one of the pioneers of interviewing people. Okay. Right, uh, now, nah, I will say that. Okay, all right. A right. lot of niggas didn't know how to interview people till they start watching some of the shit this nigga did. Okay, all right. That's that's a good one. That was amazing. Okay, that's the one I needed yeah. right there coming from you. A lot of people don't know he's blind in one eye and half in the other. Half in the other. Mm -hmm. But so he still didn't let that stop him from being one of the voted one of the most freakiest niggas in the world. Come on, come. <laughs> I like it. 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 <laughs> a music video uh, mogul? Yep, yeah, come on now. You done been in a lot of music videos. And directed a couple of them. Oh, okay. shit. Pop yeah. your shit, Jack. My president is black. Shit, the whole Jeezy recession album. Yeah. Hey, you directed that president's black video? Yeah, I was assistant director on there. And I put myself in the video. I got to go back and watch it. Yeah, it's going to fuck your head up. Yeah, when you see what I'm part. doing in there, you like, hold on, what the fuck? Y'all couldn't catch nobody else for that part? Yeah. You doing some crazy shit. I'm saving a nigga life in uh in uh, Afghanistan. But you can see I'm I'm obviously missing I got the glass eye in like that. So they let niggas on oh, the so seeing that shit. Mm -hmm. Man, we got Jack Thrill in this moment. Come on. Yes, sir. Uh, come on. Come on, man. Jack. Bruh. Hey, you you forgot about the porn star shit too, you know. I didn't forget. I, bro. Okay, I didn't, I, it's just some shit I ain't supposed to be telling you. you did. I don't know if you did that for real. You know I me? did. You can, hey man. Whoever, or who our, our, our research person is, <laughs> he's absent today. Yeah, oh, he's yeah. absent today. Oh, okay. You can when you get a chance, Google um, uh, uh, bust another die trying <laughs> <laughs> with <laughs> Brian Pumper and, and Jack Thriller. It's, it pop right up. <laughs> It really like, happened. Who who named it that title? That was me. 50 almost killed my ass about that shit. For real? Yes, this was back in 09. We had one of the hottest um, uh, uh, reality shows on World Star, getting 4 million views a day, called Life of a Porno Nigga. It was crazy. Hey, how you how you caught that wave? Like, what what? how you linked up with 50? Um, I, when I had moved to um, New York back in 09, um, uh, uh, I was uh, living with my uncle, living on the, in the living room and shit. He gave me like four months, well, six months to get my shit together. And then, uh, I went as soon as I got there, I started shooting sketches and stuff. Uh, uh with this, with this, uh, my homeboy Ali Allen and uh, uh, Chris Alvarez and shit. Uh -huh. And uh, I went viral like my first sixteen days of there, uh, doing this Michael Vick skit. The way Michael Vick won't kill me about this shit to this day. And um, I saw that's what what I needed to be doing. So I was just uh, started dropping ske uh, sketches every week at the same time, and by the uh, four months later in December, Fifty Cent hit me up. Vlad TV and World Star at the same time wanted me to be personalities on their website, and that's when I was like, you know what, I'm finna stay in New York for a minute. Damn, and and I, so I went with Fifty. Yeah. So you went, you went, you went up to New York on Fave type. One hundred percent, not by sight. Oh, for sure. We know that. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to say that part, Jack. We, we knew that. It's hard to survive in New York. Yeah, yeah. New York high that? as hell. Oh, yeah. High, yeah. And hey, how your uncle was, like, your uncle, he was giving you, like, like type of shit, like, man, it's about time you to go. That, that nigga just kept on like milking me for money and more money. The rent just kept on getting higher and higher <laughs> for no reason for that flow. Viral. He got something. Yeah, for the flow. For the, right for the flow, <laughs> tripping it when I had company on the flow. <laughs> it was it was So every nigga, time we walked in, he see you taking a little bit more of the living room. Yeah, like, oh, yeah I have miscellaneous on. bitches in there and shit on the flow with me. On on, on the um blow up bed. Yeah, and he he kept on adding fifty dollars every every other month onto the rent, <laughs> every other month. And then one day I said, "Fuck it," and I just stopped paying rent and I just moved out from that nigga without telling him. And then oh, yeah. he went crazy because he didn't have no more income. Yeah, and what then, he, what he called you and said? Uh, he uh, I was going to go get the rest of my shit, <laughs> and I came to the door and it, it was blood in front of the door all on the on the ground. And, and I was scared. I wasn't going to go in there and save the nigga. Yeah. I had called the police, and uh, the police had opened the door up, and this nigga, he was in a pool of blood. He slid his throat. 
And um, I inherited the apartment. That's how I got my apartment. Yep. Jay, this story went, hey, man, whoa, 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 what whoa. the hell, Jay? Yeah. Yep. What? This shit went left. Well, I was thinking like. I got the apartment for, it was 800 a month. No, nigga, your uncle died. <laughs> oh, no, he lived. The nigga lived. I forgot to add that part. Uh. <laughs> nigga went and got him, put him in the psych ward and called it a day. So because you wouldn't give him no more that fifty piece. Yeah, he had nothing to live for. He slit his fucking throat. <laughs> yep, he was he was done. He couldn't afford New York. Yeah, that Jack, bro. That Jack. I, I, I was one, bro. I thought I thought it was. I thought I was paying half the rent. <laughs> you paying all of it. I was paying all the rent. <laughs> That's the, the God, 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 God don't like it. Hey, he ain't in your bed and had you pay all the goddamn rent. Hey man, what's up? It's your boy Nav Green from Broken Play. Let me show you how easy it is to get some money. First, what you got to do, download Prize Picks. If you're not on Prize Picks right now, I don't know where you've been, but it's not too late. Download Prize Picks, use the promo code Broken Play, and they're going to match whatever you put up up to $100. You put up $93, they're going to match your $93. You pick up two to six players, more or less. It's so easy. Available in 30 states, you can win up to 10 to 25 times your money. Whether it's WNBA, whether it's baseball, pitcher strikeouts, singles, uh, Wilson, Caitlin Clark, Reese, come on, man. If you know sports, come get you some money. Even if you don't know sports, come get you some money. Hey, tell them Broken Play sent you, man. Use that promo code Broken Play. That's B R O K E N P L A Y. Broken Play. Well, mm-hmm. Uncle, Uncle, like, man. This nigga done got smart on me. Yeah, stupid motherfucker. If I can't trick Jack, I can't trick nobody. Hey, bro. Yeah! <laughs> if you, how you gonna give a nigga some fucking house rules and shit and he on the floor in the living room? And paying all the rent. <laughs> paying all the fucking rent. Just, hey. Telling me what the fuck is Jack got a million funny stories just like they eat and it just always is so never he lit, So he still alive to this day? He's Do still alive, him? and we we have not talked since then. I bet he can't talk. <laughs> he, he, nah, he 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 just he, he's a, like he go a functioning. So look, when you opened the door and saw Unc like that, did you like, damn Unc? I, I was I was I was, I was hoping the nigga was dead. You. Yeah. I ain't on even front. I was, I was hoping the nigga was dead and shit. Cause I, you know, you know, as a comedian, what, what we draw from? Pain. Tragic. That's right. Tragic. And, and I and I wanted to save this nigga some embarrassment. Cause if you live through that shit, then what people say about you? You crazy? Mm-hmm. Are you retarded? And they look at you a certain type of way. And you know what they doing today? Looking at they saying he crazy and he retarded. They looking at him a certain type. That of way. gotta be unsus like the. Try to kill yourself and you not succeed. Yeah, shit, you a success, and you he, a success at a failure. And he and being got, a failure. And he took the apartment. And I took the apartment. Yeah. So this nigga that 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 didn't creep you out all the blood and shit. No, cause it, I cleaned all of that up. I, this was in New York. This was a blessing, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I cleaned. Man, I speak in Spain. I was like, the nigga. Where you, was you stand? Like, what part of New York? Uh, I stayed at one forty six between Seventh and Eighth. This the same block uh, Alpo got killed on. So is that, is that Harlem? In Harlem, yep. Harlem? Yeah. Yep. Same block. Jack, uh, why you here, bro? Well, usually we talk about sports. We're going to get into that. Uh, mm. Ask you, did you ever play sports and all that shit? Mm. But for Lou and Reggie Ball, could you tell them the story? Because k Doug was trying to explain to me, and I want to just, uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know if it's true or not. He said you used to go on stage and dance to a song, <laughs> and you would drop something and turn around and pick it up, and with your outfit, your whole ass would be out. That's 100% false. Oh, okay. What really happened, I was doing comedy, I was a stripper, and I worked for security at the Velvet Room at the same time. The Velvet Room? Yeah, the Velvet Room and the Compound. Okay. The Velvet Room was open? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, 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 uh, AG had um, hired me then. Okay, gotcha. Uh, yeah, so, but uh, I also had, my, my side job was dancing at uh, uh, pinups back when it was called Guys and Dogs. So I would take, like, things that happened at the strip club and put it inside my act. Uh-huh. So I see why he said that, because, yeah, I did have a stripper outfit on under my uh, regular uh, <laughs> comedy clothes. Out. And, yeah, my I had on chaps. So not my asshole was out, my cheeks was <laughs> out. 
Yeah. <laughs> I <have a> <laughs> well, ass is ass, brother. He yeah. say your ass old. Oh, that- I said with your ass out. Like just cause you got what, a girl what, along. What, what kind of count as ass? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of ass? Can you pause him? He just, he just don't. But so is it so what's false about the story? So when you turn around to pick up something, what's your ass out? Yeah, but I was full. It would, had, it would be a full moon. Cheeks out. I'm out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah. you just said it was hundred percent false. Because yeah, it was, it was more to it than that. Oh, yeah. I was picking up my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't just, I ain't just go out there and just have my ass out, nigga. I gave them hoes a show. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I was I was out there. I can freak it like you want, man. Dropping it, ticking, all that shit. <laughs> you know? can tick with your ass out. Yeah, with my ass out. Yeah, yeah. In front of Bill Mel, Bobby Brown, Whitney, all them motherfuckers. Bro, a lot of people don't know you very child. Like you can sing all that shit. All that shit. I, I did all of that stuff rolling the one. On stage, it, it was it was a full blown. But show. it be some hood niggas in that. That they never like. I didn't look like one of them niggas that you could do that shit to. But the, you, no, nigga never tried me. They would they would call me pussy ass niggas and shit on stage all the time. That happened. But they ain't run up and do nothing to me because I would cock diesel and then I had one eye and all that other stuff. So you know what I'm saying? It's like you, it, it just it looked like it wasn't gonna go the way you wanted it to go. Right. And my name was Honey Bun at the same time. So you know what I'm saying? It, but it had a Z on it. The Z make it masculine. Honey Buns. Z. Z. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like, um, what, what my man named DMX was buns on belly. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how, you know what I'm saying? That, that's how. So yeah, who that's gave what, you that name? Um, Who gave me honey bun? Oh, I got it off the chat line. Remember, y'all remember the chat line? <laughs> <laughs> I used to be, uh, go. I, I, first first off, I used to, uh, uh, what's my man's name? Cedric Entertainer had a joke about this nigga named Delicious. Uh, he wasn't called uh, the grown uh, ass man Delicious. Yeah. And so I was like, if I ever become a, a comedian, I need something that make niggas just as uncomfortable as that dude, but people gonna remember. And so uh, I was on the chat line. I'm 14 years old. And um, me and my brother used to get on there to go meet hoes and stuff and, and down at the underground and fuck them and all that shit and blah, blah, blah. And so. Uh, I was on there one day, and it was this dude in one of the rooms that it just came in, going, going to every fucking room, like, "Hey, my my, my name, Honey Bun. I hope your mama died by." And just hang up, and then I just bust out laughing every time this nigga did it. So after the third time I laughed, I was like, "Nigga, that's it. My name gonna be Honey Bun." And so I used to call in to uh, was it uh, what Ryan Cameron used to work on back in the day? Seven point five. Yes, he worked mm-hmm. on that. I used to call him to the morning show with him, Griff, and um. Um, uh, what's Rashawn that? Ali? What's Rashawn, Rashawn Ali. Ali. Yeah. Yes, every morning. And uh, uh, doing the gay character named Honey Buns. So they would invite me up to the radio station to come do the shit and you with them. you was a young nigga. Yeah, I was 14, freshly dropped out of high school. Or oh, 15. Freshly, <laughs> freshly dropped. <laughs> freshly. 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 This nigga didn't even attend the You said it went to read How the hell you go to read I went 13? there. I didn't stay there. <laughs> <laughs> I went there. I didn't, yeah. A lot of I, I po- places they don't stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you can still be there. Yeah. <laughs> Niggas were, I was just in the strip club this past Friday. Nigga remember me from there. Lando, am I lying? <laughs> what, oh, he over there? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he uh, nigga came right. He was like, remember me? My name is Michael Davis. It, that's the true story. Mike Davis. M- Mike Davis, yeah. At the strip club. Oh, the uh, Lord? Yep, yep. Get the fuck out of Mike here. Davis. Mike Davis. Yep. Man, I should have got the nigga number, man. God damn. That's funny. <laughs> damn. Shit. Man. Mike Davis owned the fucking strip club? He managing it. I don't know who he owned just, it. He might not own it. You know Probably how niggas. Yeah, might be niggas, niggas act like they, they own it. Like Superboy, you ain't never lie. <laughs> got you. Oh, nigga do that. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Mike, Ooh. I need to get your number, bro. Hey, Jack. That nigga had put me on his bad ass white bitch. <laughs> so what was her name? Barbie, she gonna be here for uh, Jack and Honey Bun. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she gonna be on uh, Jack Beauty of the Week next week. Bye, Jack. Yeah. What's some of your favorite? You ever played sports growing up? Yeah, I well, I tried out for sports. What? You know, I tried you out for everything. Been football I, I I I tried out. You went good. I couldn't I couldn't take that shit, man. I was out there trying to impress this girl one day and whatnot. I uh, pitch up and Smith and. 
you know, shit that where you where you where you know throw the ball up and nigga catch it and run to the end zone. I I, I was great at that in the hood. Oh, throw okay, him throw up, bust him up. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, yeah, everybody call it something throw different. Him yeah, yeah. Him throw him up, tackle sign. Yeah, 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 I was amazing at that. <laughs> yeah. But then when I came to Redan, uh. And, and they be putting you like niggas. They put the the, the, the young niggas and the, the old niggas in the same fucking place at the same time. Yeah. And at the time, you know what I'm saying. I was always fighting every day. And you know niggas would be like, uh, when, when I'm when I'm joining niggas back and shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying. Sometimes they would be a senior, and we, sometimes I would take it too far. And niggas took it out on took it oh, out so on. So they were ready football. for you to come oh, out yeah. down that football. Oh niggas man. taught yeah, me the yeah. true meaning of Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this nigga hit me so hard, man. I went up in the air probably like six feet off the ground in a whole flip, and I seen a bitch while I was upside down that I like, and then I landed on my neck. And what I never came back. What was you tried out for, Jack? I, I was trying to be a wide receiver. That like, like shut the hell up. Man. I was trying. To, yeah, what, if, he, you if, he did, up? if he did all that, he right because that's what uh, Cuba did in um, Jerry Maguire. Damn sure did. That happened to him. That definitely happened to him. He got flipped. When he, when he blacked out. When he, when he caught the touchdown. Yeah. So he, that might have been his I wasn't nowhere near the goddamn end zone <laughs> when this shit happened. Jay, was you a different size? Uh, Man, dog, I was a young Barry Sanders looking motherfucker, man. <laughs> boy, you know they were ready to his ass. Yeah, that, yeah. That, there, nigga that told receiver. me up. Yeah. So Barry was like five, eight? If that. And you was trying to play receiver? Yeah. And you said at the time you was kind of diesel? Yeah, I was super diesel. So you was kind of compact? Yeah, compact, yep. And, and for niggas, niggas my size and about a year up and whatnot, you know, I, I, I was built for them. But the, for the seniors and shit back then, and you know, niggas, that just that's what they do. He was, They was trying to hurt me. Absolutely. And, and because, no see, you were young. You were yeah, younger, I was young. Yep. yep. Five, eight, kind of swole. So it's like, you look like... A dog. A dog. Yeah. Or a nigga that, that's, that's going to really, be something. That's yeah. trying, they're like, man, who the fuck is this nigga yeah, walking around? we got to get it right. Yeah. We got to right. make the sure you don't be that start tripping and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, dog, dog, my whole shit was like, I, had, I was on the ground for probably like a, a good 10 minutes, man. Fucked up. And you didn't go back? I didn't go back. I didn't go back because I thought they were going to do that to me every day. Yeah. <laughs> Who were some of your favorite players growing up? You used to watch players? Oh, Deion Sanders, um, Andre Risen. Okay. Uh, uh, um, you keep it Atlanta. Yeah, 100%. Atlanta going to do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, shit. Oh, I got a, I got a question about that, too, well, in just a second for you, or y'all. Uh, Joe Montana, um, when when Deion went, had, when, when he went to 49ers. Yeah, okay. Um, so you followed Reggie Deion. Seth? You followed Dion. Oh, hardcore. Cool. I had the shoes and everything in the fifth grade. Yeah. That was my first pair of um, on name brand shoes. Yep. Uh, Dion Sanders. I had the I had the uh, the white ones and I had the black ones. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they had the, the original release. And, original and, and, release. And shout out to Dion. Them shit just dropped. They Man, sold them bitches out. Hard as a they still hard. Yeah. They yeah. sold out. Still. They sold the fuck out. I need them diamond turfs from this year. I don't, I, don't, I don't like the black and white too much no more. You know the diamond turf with yeah, the strap. With the strap in the front. They both got the strap. No, no, no. no the black, red, and gold. Oh, you talking yeah. about the, the, Oh, yeah, yeah. That yeah, one you with the 49 yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, that was the Super Bowl one. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Okay. Hey, let me ask y'all this though. Who do y'all who uh who y'all feel like had the biggest impact on um the Falcons between Dion and Michael Vick? Michael Vick. 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 And, and, and why? Bro, don't get I, I don't think Dion stayed long enough. Dion had it. He about like, like four years now. Yeah, but I'm and saying it's two he, legit Falcons. Dion, I think Dion was bigger than just the Falcons. It's the shit he did with the Braves, and then you still remember Dion with Florida State. Dion just he never was just you couldn't limit him to one thing. Absolutely, if that makes sense. Mike, 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 Mike Vick don't yeah. win and play for four, five different teams, but what niggas gonna always come back to? Atlanta They're playing in Atlanta, number one pick, right? Yeah. Number one pick, and he a black quarterback. Black the left quarterback. Left-hand quarterback. And he had a 4-2 speed. And the nigga had highlights. And he was, they say, he was, I always say this, he was, to me, the Allen Iverson of the NFL. There you go. I could go for that. I definitely could go for that. And they both in the same area. That's right. a good observation, but too. But that's, because I was a big AI fan. Yeah. And when Mike Vick got drafted, it was like, me and my brother was like, bro, this is another nigga. It's like now we got two. Now we got two of us. Uh huh. You know what I mean, yeah, bro. Yeah, you know yeah, what? And another thing like though, that. and Reggie, you probably could contest. Like niggas, it's a, 
Falcons be having fair, fair weather fans. Like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas, if you if they playing good, go Falcons. Mm-hmm. If they playing bad, man, I'm sorry, Red Falcons. Better believe but it. when Vic was here, nigga didn't give a fuck if they win or lose. Nigga gonna have that number seven jersey on Better in that bitch it. rocking in that Georgia Dome. He had some fire shoes too. Hell yeah. They yes. had two, two. And they put that nigga on the Madden. Come on, man. The Vic. Experience commercials. Do you niggas remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and the what? power aid and all that shit. What? Yeah. That Vic, they still trying to recreate that that uh impact, For so real. to speak. Yeah, Vic, Vic, damn, we we slept on Vic had a run. I'm telling you, bro. Honestly, people still mad in the game playing. Yeah. And they still feel like we did them dirty. Nah, I think uh, Arthur Blank really dropped the ball, uh, you know what I'm saying, not picking him back up oh, uh, before the um the Eagles did. You know what I mean? And I get that, you know, his whole yeah. thing was he didn't trust uh, Vic Note because he made him look crazy. He, didn't, he uh, uh, didn't lie and just tell him about the if shit. If Vic would have told him on some shit, like, bro, I did the shit. Man, Arthur Blank, no, white folks got him. money and got him. power where they going to talk to people. Oh, what's that? about what's, this already. No. Yeah. Did we, uh, what was that? Maybe, maybe, I agree with you, uh-huh. but what's the uh, the shit? The rock with the ballers, right? Mm-hmm. There's a scene in one of them episodes. That show that was on HBO with Rock, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The mm-hmm. nigga got hurt, and he didn't want to tell the, because he was playing basketball. So you really, you know what I'm saying, if you play basketball or something and you get hurt off the field, that's on you, nigga. Like, yeah. so a lot of niggas be trying to lie and say, oh, I hurt myself, do, training or whatever. Mm-hmm. He said, hey, look, this is what happened. Woo, woo, woo. White dude said, we take care of ours. And he went to the media and and covered it up for him. Still paid him. To your point, I feel like if Mike would have said, look, bro, oh, yeah, what they sure. said, it's real. It's some, it's some truth to it. That's simple. I'm dealing with some days that's, that's on some lame shit. Can you get me out of this? He probably would have. Bro, I, I, I want to say this 100%. That nigga would have got him out of that shit. Bro. With the believe, best lawyers. I, really, bro, I believe it. I really oh. think they... they Bro, they would have covered that shit up. The, with the best lawyers. And and not the shit on the, the city and shit he come from. But, bro, that's a small city, small state. Bro, oh, nigga, you we ride got money. How much you need? Bro, <laughs> how, much, how much do this fucking city need? Bro, when you ride I will that? buy this motherfucker. That's how Arthur Blank would have went up there talking to them nigga. Bro, I will buy I, this motherfucking city. You they ain't shit. Lie you him, ain't bro. lying, bro. It ain't... But the crazy thing, what they were saying, or oh, he was saying, you know, he done interviews and he was saying how, like, as soon as the game in, he flying back home. He flying back yep. home. He flying, like, to leave Atlanta. For to what? leave Atlanta to but go back there. Like, every week. Like, nigga, I would, what? But I was like, you can give a nigga as much money as you want to, but you can't take it out of him. And you said that before. And I'm, now that we talk about it and seeing that type of shit, that shit true, though. That shit crazy. I'm in Atlanta and I'm that nigga. I ain't going back home. And all the rappers fucking with you. Yeah, yeah. And he was in plenty of music videos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know when he got in trouble, Tip gave him some money. I remember that. As soon as he got out. Yeah. He said Tip him fucked up. He said Tip sent money. Tip also said he ain't paid him back yet. He said Tip. He said, Tip, you know how Tip be talking to say. I forgot I did that till he brought it up. Then I thought about it. The nigga didn't pay me back. <laughs> <laughs> but he was like, he, you know, it's good that you could help. But it's just like, you got to think about how many eyes Vic had got on the city. Because that route and Michael Vick, that mm-hmm. shit was coming at the same trajectory in the city. Yeah. Yeah, but then, hold on, if you go back to Dion. This nigga was actually putting out songs then. Then he had goddamn Magic City on fire. This was before all the rap shit was going on here that's true. in Atlanta. It was nuts in Atlanta when Vic was there. I mean, when I'm like, that's, that's the thing with being first with some shit. Yeah, yeah. Because being yeah. the first song, go. bro, yeah. like, you're not going to be as, preci- as appreciated. Yeah. You're not going to be able to catapult off of whatever's been laid out. Yep. That's yeah. that's that's the difference. So, and then, Dion definitely did go crazy. And, Ball, you could say this too the positions. And better believe Dion that. was at cornerback. It's only so much how he could change the game. Vic was the quarterback. Had the hands on the mm. ball every day. Every he game goes. he going to do every something. Play. And everybody loves the quarterback. Yeah. It, don't, it don't fucking matter. That's the that's the keys to the, to the, to the team. Come on, man. What, what was the difference between um, a Tom Brady and Michael Vick? This nigga championship? <laughs> no. I say coaching. Coaching staff. 
Which and, staff, and, and, and culture, culture. The city. I would say a- athleticism, and then the, um, Tom Brady knowing the fun, fund, fundamentals of the game. He, he a fundamental guy. Um, uh, Vic was just super athletic yeah. to doing things. With, that was, I wouldn't just say so much coaching. I think with Belichick, Vic wouldn't have been able to be Vic. No, mm. why, why not? True. Why not? That's a good point. Because he black. No, you know, Belichick. He, hey, hey, stay in the pocket, type man. Vic, bro. I, that nigga Vic was amazing to watch and to see that nigga live. They say, well, he said he ain't watch no film. Motherfucker was making up plays in the NFL, bro. He ain't watch no film. Making up plays. They gave the nigga. The coach said they gave the nigga a uh, 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 some DVDs with no DVD in it. Mm-hmm. He said, you you you, you watch him? He said, oh yeah yeah yeah. He said, he said let me see him. He said we didn't put one in there, but Mike. You ain't watch shit. Ain't watch nothing. Just Natural going out challenge. there, just God give in it. The NFL. In the NFL. Hey, you bro. know what, Lou? I thought Marcus Vick was gonna be better than Michael Vick because he coming behind his brother. No, that was a thug no. ass nigga on the but field. But he was boy. a dog. Yeah, hey. yeah, he was. He Shout was out a to dog. Marcus Vick though. Marcus. Showed a lot of love when I saw him in Atlanta. Oh, that's for sure. That nigga for sure. Stayed Mar- loved Mar- Marcus Vick. Did y'all play with him? I ain't play. He was playing when I was in high school. I played against him. Okay. Marcus Vick. I played against him one or two years. He Man, stayed he stayed when he was in Virginia Tech, yeah, he yeah. stayed. In he was so fine just as a pure athlete. Yeah, they dragged this nigga and just put him anywhere on the field. For real, uh-huh. just put him at receiver. That nigga could throw like a motherfucker. He had a cannon as a arm. Who some athletes you done met? Uh, Jack Thriller that were cool as hell. Uh, Michael Vick was cool as fuck. I met him uh, at um, Nori uh, Noriega um, for, uh, uh, wedding anniversary about a year and a half ago. He was super cool. Uh, Dominique Wilkins was a really great guy. <laughs> Why you laughing? Because uh, what? Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead my okay. Man. Uh, hey. <laughs> um, to you, real? Mean, you mean niggas when they yeah they they cool now? Nah, Dominique, I'm thinking you met Dominique when he was Dominique, nigga. Yeah, you met oh him. no, I met him at Freaknik. I met Dominique at Freaknik. Uh, so he was that well, yeah. yeah, he was that man. This was like ninety. Oh, oh, he was still trying to play in the oh, league. Yeah. He was still playing in the league, I feel oh, yeah. like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Not trying to. He was. He might have been playing with... Uh, he might have been jet- the by the league. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what he might... I think he might have did like a year with Boston or some random team. Yeah. I forgot about that shit. He did like two or three random years. What a nigga dumb nigga doing that freak nigga hanging up? Oh, this nigga had went, in, um, went inside a hotel with about seven holes. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to go in until they stopped me. Yeah, I think that nigga had that, that Johnny Gill hot top fade. Oh, yeah. 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 Super athletic, how y'all niggas was just saying, and then in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. How them freak niggas that shit was? It was amazing, man. I, you I, was bro, a young nigga going around there. Yeah, I was, I was young as shit. I was like the 12, 13, and finger stanking than a motherfucking <laughs> freak <Yeah. nigga. laughs> Man, finger my ass, the man putting foot fingers in their booty hole. I was still trying to figure out the right hole and whatnot. It was, <laughs> got the wrong one. And whatnot. I let this the tight one right here. Yeah. 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 So. Lou! <laughs> Yeah. You know the nigga not lying. That was so crazy. I know about not. I'm not. I, I know. I, I don't. I might have heard some of these stories. No, I'm still like that to this day. Huh? I'm still like that to this day. Wrong booty hole. No, no, no I, wrong hole. Oh, I know it's the booty hole now. But you still go. I still go. Yeah, 100. percent I'm a, I'm a booty man. And you know you gotta understand. But most women my age, they they didn't got damn these bitches is like puppets. You put your whole hand up their pussy and, <laughs> and make them talk. This bitches is Kermit the Frog got this. So you, you, you doing puppet shows. Yeah, I'm doing straight up puppet shows. Yeah, it is Sesame Street for me. That nigga talking about some, when can I get in? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the booty hole is the best part. They, they, these motherfuckers, I done met these hoes too late. Hey, you, yeah. thrill, you be watching fights, you be watching boxing. Yeah. I love boxing. Oh, who your who your who your favorite fighter right um, now? Um, Javante Davis, my man. is amazing. My man, you saw That's his last nigga. fight. Well, I'm yeah. talking about no, what you it. could see. Yeah, no, I can see it. Right. See, yeah, sir, see, this this what I'm, I'm what you call legally blind. <laughs> uh-huh. And what that means is under certain lights, then I can see uh, really well. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think you be doing that shit just for the check. You, so you watch TV at the house? Yeah. Yeah, yeah one shit for the yeah. check, bro. Let me right. get to the high E. Ain't mad at No, I can't regular. I've been I've been getting a check I've been getting a check since oh three, and when I oh no but this, this man Doug, come on uh, uh now let's be honest man as long as you know me how extroverted am I? You think I got time to be out there and walking around with a, a nigga all day? Uh, yeah. 
Think about it. I don't want to do this. Hey, this what this I will say. This how I know you a cool nigga, Jack. Cause yeah. Jack keep somebody willing to help Jack. Oh yeah, you know yeah. like some I niggas be it. like, bro, I ain't fucking with. Jack can have a nigga around here who willing to help him. Yeah, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. Cause yeah, Jack, yeah. no matter what you think of him, Jack gonna have some hoes to go see or be around eventually. Eventually. What you mean? What you like? I'm saying, <laughs> say for instance. Be like, Jack be like, man, I need you to take me somewhere. Be like, it ain't no like, man, damn. Be like, Jack, man. Like, oh, like, okay, yeah, okay, okay. No, I got you. Sometimes, it's probably niggas fighting it to drive Jack. <laughs> <laughs> no, niggas, no, 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 it's my no day. Go ahead. Yeah. It's my day, nigga. Uh, uh, no, no, no. You took Jack last week. I got him this week. Bruh, it's Thursday. <laughs> it's my day. <laughs> Fuck, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a really great guy once you get to know me after the the, the surface shit. Yeah. Whatever you, like you just said, whatever you might think about me, um, a surface. Because I'm saying, like, if I didn't know, like, say for instance, I can't do up told that shit. Yeah. If I never knew you, Mm. I'd be like, man, that nigga a weird ass nigga. But I know you, so I know you don't be meaning no harm by the shit you do. No, I don't. But to have your ass out to a crowd of (laughs) people. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. At a comedy show. Oh, but, hey, but it was for the hoes. I was doing that for the bitches. But Jack, it's yeah. men in there's way. <laughs> man, I was doing it for they bitches. <laughs> Yo, every relationship so you don't last like, long. Hey man, watch out. Oh, hey, I'm, I'm hoes now. Hey, I respect I respect that because yeah. you 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 know the crowd you want to talk it to. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> these motherfuckers, these fans want to talk about how short my shorts is. These men. But the, but but your old lady is loving mm-hmm. it. Yeah, yeah. that's that what they mad as a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. you doing that for you yeah. doing that for yeah. you. I, yeah. you okay. they, they they say oh Luke and that Luke and them legs mm-hmm. right. I go to Fact Fitness. Come on, now. Reggie Ball, my trainer. Shout out to Ball. So fact. so so I'm showing off the shit I'm putting in. That's right, Jack. I've been seeing you've been working out lately. Man, I've been going in, bro. And I, uh, I was just uh, about early this year. I was three nineteen. I'm down to two eighty. Hey shit, man, I'm just out there. Yeah. You tra- did you change your diet? Yeah, changed my diet. Um, so what you doing? I'm I'm on a I eat salads all week. Um, fruit. My my uh, my 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 refrigerator like a garden. Of course, on on cheat days, I have a, a burger or you know what I'm saying. I make a steak. I had a T bone steak that was so goddamn good yesterday. I made. Oh my god, it's crazy. You cooking and everything. I'm cooking everything. You, you, you watch y'all seen Ray Charles? You saw him frying the chicken. I ain't never seen Ray Charles. She said, Ray, why you cooking the Ray dark? Charles was cooking food. I ain't he was cooking that. chicken in the dark. Yeah, yeah. And, and she said, Ray, why you cooking the dark? She said, don't matter. <laughs> 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 and that's just how I go at the crib. Yeah. Yeah, so you don't really have the lights on and stuff like that? No, I don't. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't. Um, 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 my dog Lando, he been uh, showing me some. Different YouTube videos and stuff, saying I'm supposed to turn the lights on so it can help my eyes um, adjust to uh, getting getting uh, because like right now in here it's dark as fuck. I can see the camera right there, camera right there, and whatnot, and something over there, right. Now. But uh, yeah, uh, it's it's like really dark in here. Of course, I see that light right there. So Jack, yeah. so but like you. You never let that stop you from doing anything you nah, want to do. So that's like incredible. when do you tell women like uh Off the rip. Off what'd the rip. What'd you say? I, I say, you know, I just had eight surgeries on my eyes, so I'm still over here healing. I got like a year and a half to get about like twenty five percent of my uh, sight back. And uh it is what it is. So would you like to come over and uh, oh. help me cook and listen to Netflix and chill? So you say That's my line. Twenty uh, a year you saying to get to get more sight back. Yeah, to get yeah. Okay, so yeah. your your sight is coming back. Yeah, just slowly but surely. Okay, and the okay. more weight, the more weight I lose. Like I got a, a hundred pounds. Absolutely. To lose. Then you know it's easier on my body to help heal my eye. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. Blood sugar yeah, level so. got something to do with that shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I just lowered my um blood pressure and yeah. whatnot. I no longer have a uh, high blood pressure. Not I'm not diabetic and whatnot. I'm oh, yeah, I'm, on the, okay. you on, the yeah, up, yeah, I'm on the way. Okay. What's up, man? I'm on the way. So like with that, yeah. Like yo. Your senses of other stuff. Super heightened. Heightened. Yeah. But it always been like that anyway, though, because, you know, I was born blind in my left eye. I've never had sight in this eye right here, ever. Oh, I ain't know. And so, wow. yeah, yeah. I, I've all, this, like, this ain't, I'm, I'm not a gimmick. <laughs> oh, I knew that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but okay. I didn't think you were blind in the no, eye. No, I've always been blind in his eye. Damn. Yeah, yeah. The whole time you know me. And you playing throw up tackle? Oh, yeah. Yes. 100%. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Yeah. I ain't know shit was like a real problem until I 
when I got out of high school, I tried to join the army and whatnot, and then they were saying, telling me that since I was blind in this eye, that I wouldn't been able to um, mm -hmm. to get in. Yeah, yeah, because that's what I originally was trying to do. I thought I was gonna go to the military and do what? Like you were just? I wanted to uh, ultimately uh, be a general, man, in the in the end, and um and um and be retiring right now at, at, at uh, forty years old. I'm forty two now, but yeah, I, that was my plan. So yeah. Jay, you started with humble beginnings, like yeah, yeah that we was poor as fuck. No, I'm saying like you uh. started wanting to do, do military, do all this type of shit. Yeah, I, I knew that being an entertainer was free. gonna be hard. I knew oh. I knew that shit was gonna be hard as fuck. And then you know I had always had people around me telling me that that I couldn't do that because I, I got one eye. No matter what I wanted to do, it ain't gonna work. You're too ugly. You got one eye. Yeah, they ain't never gonna do this. It's, it's uh, uh, homosexuals out there. Everybody gonna be trying to fuck you. All that kind of stupid shit like that. So like, it, so it kind of detour you away from mm -hmm. trying to be an entertainer. You were fucking in high school, man. I was hunching a lot, but not fucking no, <laughs> no. But you always like. Winning. I almost got there. I almost got there. I was walking in on the train one time with my homeboys, but it looked scary though, you know, because too many butt naked niggas, and it just looked like them hoes. I didn't. I left. Jack. Yeah. So. <laughs> Look, I ain't asking them shit else. You asking some questions, bro. <laughs> That's who his favorite tight end all time or something. I don't know, bro. So like. <laughs> Damn. Hold on. Hey, Lou, hey, hold on. Lou don't know this story. I know he don't know this story. Please tell Lou about that uh that Jeezy video story, Magic City. Oh, okay. So I had these um watches that I was selling. They were some um video watches. Uh um uh, uh they were I was they were like two two fifty a piece and whatnot. That, that's what I was selling them for. And I, I went up to Club Onyx and shit with it, cause uh, you know what I'm saying, I know Jeezy them was doing the um I'm gonna throw this money video shoot. Mm -hmm. And I went with Food Stamp and uh and Chris set it off Jones. Set it off. We was all up there together. Uh -huh. And uh, you know what I'm saying? I didn't give a fuck about getting in the video. I was just trying to sell these watches to uh, to Jesus. I had them put program uh trap or die in the motherfuckers and everything. Uh -huh. And so I get there and I'm showing Jesus the watches and shit. He like, man, that's dope. Huh? You know what I'm saying? You should let me have this shit. And I said, like, uh, he said, ask me how many I had. I said, I got five of them. And so he said he was gonna get all five of the motherfuckers from me. So he 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 had put on two of the motherfuckers and told me to wait until after the video shoot. And he was gonna give me the money. But I'm obviously looking at the nigga with all the money now. <laughs> and so I'm like, nigga, won't you just give me that? And so you know how niggas be trying to goddamn yeah. run game on yeah, a nigga yeah, and all yeah. that. And I like, oh shit, these niggas trying to play me. This nigga Jesus finna rob me. <laughs> and so Anyway, they had then um <laughs> told all the comedians to go over there, uh, get in the shot and whatnot. And I uh, uh they was gonna bring out twenty thousand dollars, and I was like, uh? <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is I'm finna get my money. <laughs> and so you know they started passing out uh, complimentary cocaine around the show, shooting everything. I got me some allegedly. trying to get nice and get, allegedly, get, get yeah. allegedly. No, it was there. It was there. <laughs> And so he anyway, yeah. <sighs> so we uh we 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 in the um, video shoot. We standing by the stage and shit. And they gave me a big ass stack of hundreds and shit by like this big. And tell my do we throw the money? And when do they say action? Like nigga, you done lost your motherfucking mind. I ain't finna get these bitches shit. So they say action, and you know I'm over here telling these niggas, hey. Uh, food stamp, you niggas, 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 let's get this fucking money and shit, and let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go get them throw a couple dollars and get the fuck out. I'm yeah. telling the smoky, same shit. Let's get this money and let's get the fuck out of here. Throw a little bit. So they say, yeah, action. I'm stuffing my my pants. I had them shits with the scrunchies on them like they're the bottom. You see the bottom oh, yeah. shit? Scrunchy right here? Yeah. yeah. Nigga, I had filled my, all my whole <laughs> shit up. <laughs> Man, nigga, I was looking like I had booty shots up in that motherfucker. My shit was so, I was so thick. And, um... <laughs> Anyway, they they were looking at me. I saw the niggas looking at me, and then food stamp. He had got down. And he he whispered in my ear, "Honey bun, they gonna kill you." <laughs> and I looked back at him because I was high as hell. They gonna have to. <laughs> Cause I'm not leaving here without this money. I ain't no fucking way. I'm leaving out this motherfucker without this shit. 
And I'm wondering why ain't nobody doing the same shit I'm doing. Because all I can do is see is the future. I was like, ain't nobody going to remember this shit one day and they going to wish they had stole this money too. And so anyway, they get uh, uh, action again and I'm putting more money in my pocket and they just looking at me like uh, 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 until they, they um, yell cut and I still I ain't took the money out of my shit. I didn't, I'm still packed up and everything and whatnot. And they was like, they like, okay, this shit ain't really funny no more. And uh, 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 and I'm I'm like I guess that when they uh, say action again, I'm gonna go ahead and make my way towards the door. Is exit stage right and whatnot? I had a good time and I know I got over two hundred and fifty dollars and shit. I got this, this all hundreds right here. And so they they uh they, yeah action again. I'm up here making my way towards the door. It's a long ass way to that fucking door. Now that I'm noticing. <laughs> And, 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 and so uh, uh, BMF niggas and all kind of motherfuckers, lions, oh, yeah. tigers, and bears, and big ass niggas looking at me as I'm walking out. Just they they balling their fists up and nigga putting their hands on pistols and knives and all that shit. But I'm not leaving here without this motherfucking money. It's scary a little bit, but I was high enough to be, you know what I'm saying, at least fifty percent. You know, Scarface shit. Yeah, one hundred percent. Are they gonna have to kill me? And by the uh, uh, I, I get up to the door, and all of a sudden, it's this big ass niggas, Jeezy by the guard. I think the name was name was full coverage or some some scary like that. This look, <laughs> this nigga look like the last nigga you got to kill on goddamn <laughs> Mortal Kombat or something like. You know what I'm saying? The nigga stopped me, and said, "Hey, what the fuck you doing? Taking my nigga Jeezy money, motherfucker?" <laughs> He like, show sure enough, all goddamn uh, Lad Dragon. And I said, hey, shit, I, uh, I'm behind on my, my ties and stuff. I need to um, pay my ties and stuff. And so I thought he was going to laugh. He didn't think that shit was funny. I was like, man, I'm, uh, I need I need this for my rent and shit. You know what I'm saying? So did, but before I could uh, 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 say say something else, I had, uh, he, he was like, nigga, the money is for the bitches. And I said, nigga, I'm one of the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Right when I said that, that nigga had slapped me about <laughs> 74 times real fast like a Honda off a goddamn Street Fighter. And it scared the shit out of me because I ain't know. I didn't, the nigga had slapped me so fast because I, I couldn't feel it. You know but I wasn't sure he slapped me. You ain't know where it came from. I ain't know where the fuck this shit was coming from because, you know, my eye over here was gone and all this and that. And y'all nigga almost slapped my goddamn glass out. And, um, but I look over and everybody like this, oh, like, oh, he really did slap me because everybody is reacting to this shit. And so I reach back from the pits of hell and I punch this nigga in his motherfucking chest and he just moved all the way over and I ran through that goddamn door like the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> Bust right through that bitch. Knocking strippers down, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I had blood on my on my arm. I had blood coming out my shoulder like the scarecrow. You remember how the scarecrow had like paper coming out of his shit? It was money coming out my shit. I'm running down Chester Bridge Road and whatnot and um, uh, I, 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 I'm I stop in front of a, a, a Days Inn or a Holidays Inn. One of them is, is one of them. Uh -huh. And I jump in a stick of brow bush by accident. <laughs> it was scratched the motherfucker up and I called Carlos. I said, Carlos, come get me. Jeezy trying to kill me. <laughs> and the nigga had showed up an hour later and picked me up out the bushes. Carlos, who? Carlos, Carlos, Miller, Carlos Miller, Miller, yeah. Miller, yeah. That's yeah. the dog. Carlos Miller. Bro, did... Now, so you yeah. you count the money though? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I made it out of there with about sixty five hundred. Oh did, did hell you, yeah! Did you, yeah. Hell yeah. That worked yeah. out. It, it was worth every bit of. But that ain't the craziest part. What the uh, I had got hired to, to do the uh, goddamn Jeezy music videos, and I actually showed up. Oh, that's your fault. So they and, set you up. They when, when I, nah, they they they, um, they didn't set me up. My homeboy told me to pull up. They didn't care about the shit. So he was like, nigga, I'm telling you, it's cool and whatnot. They thought that shit was funny as fuck because you really did take that money. They weren't expecting you to do it. Jesus know he did Jerome taking them goddamn watches, watches and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he, he knew he was playing me. He knew he was fucking playing me. But he didn't know I was going to do that. And so uh, I showed up to the uh, the, uh, the uh, music video shoot, Who That Shouted Red on the track. Uh -huh. And as soon as I came in, all the thugs and shit that was there, they were laughing and all this other stuff. Right. We had a great laugh. And I... I paid my rent, you know. It was so uh, you never had to get the money. back? I never gave the money back, so and we're friends went, to this yeah, day. That's a win. Yeah, yeah, that's a win. One hundred percent win. So look, you, you seen us eighty four times after that. Yeah. So look, mm -hmm. what, what happened with you and Two Chain? Why Two Chain? Why y'all were beefing? Man, complete miscommunication. Mm. 
Um, I interviewed Two Chains um, at a uh, uh, distance fifty dot com and whatnot. I went to go to to his uh, his hotel and we had an amazing interview. Mm-hmm. And you know, one of the first questions I had asked Two Chains was, "Oh, uh, what's the difference between uh, Titty Boy and Two Chains?" Because this is the, this is the height of riding around. I'm getting height, mm-hmm. height. And uh, he said, "I joined Illuminati," and then we bust out laughing. <laughs> we both did that. The niggas at This Is 50 had then goddamn labeled the interview for clickbait as Two Chains admits to joining Illuminati. Damn. Mm. That's, the, that's why that y'all been, that's why he yes. wanted to fight your ass. Like, yes. Over so that's here. Not your but it, that was, it wasn't my fault. doing. Uh, that ain't but his doing. It, it, I, well, what happened with me, uh, uh, um, the nigga, he had went on two, he went on, on 106 and Park, and they had asked him about the Illuminati and all this other shit. Then, then, then he was pissed off of that, with even about just the, the question of it, because 2 Chain worked hard, and, you know, just to put it on, his success being an Illuminati, you know, was a complete insult. So he was just like, man, that was people at this 50 and shit, you know what I'm saying, uh, d- doing that, and some one-eyed motherfucker, blah, blah, blah. And, and I was like, I think you fucked my me. Oh, my God. And so I, uh, uh, he was like, yeah, that that uh, I had did. I wasn't really offended by that at the time. Next thing happens is he go on a um, media run to Breakfast Club. Same thing. Mm. He did. The, the, uh, the, uh, Charlamagne had on a shirt that said Illuminati, and you know what I'm saying. You just you, you picking at the uh, nigga and shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they they dragging it, and then so he, um, you know, once again say some wild ass shit about me. And uh, um, you know, people started getting inside my ear, putting a battery in my bag, and we're like, "You don't let this thing about you." And then, and I, I was like, I, I, "Not, I, I really was gonna let this shit slide, and I wasn't gonna say nothing." But and they, people were just saying, "Yeah, you a comedian, you need to stand up for yourself, blah blah blah," and, and all this shit. So I took it too far. Uh. So I, I would, uh, they fifty used to send me out to go do these uh, red carpets. Mm-hmm. And um and the BT Awards, all that hip hop awards, and I and I made it my business every time I seen two chains on these carpets to to, to troll the shit out of him and and um try to make him look stupid and the which was completely uh, immature and 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 uh, cringe at the time. And if I if I could have took it back, I, I would. So the, the, uh, the, the after one of these uh, carpets, uh, he did a Vlad TV interview and then um. He had uh, said some shit like, uh, yeah, the, the home of Vlad asked him about me. And he said, yeah, he think this shit over with, but when I see him, it's on site. And I was like, damn, it's on site? And, and it, so, you know, at the time, on site was some new shit. Absolutely. And, and, that, and every time you have niggas saw a nigga on site, then they niggas was goddamn cranking that soldier boy on it. <laughs> And whatnot, I didn't, I, 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 and I was completely offended at this particular point. So I called Vlad, and I was like, "Hey, man, interview me about this shit." And I went on there, and I showed my ass. You were high. I was. I was high. <laughs> I was high. I was, and I was lit at the same time. And I said, high "And lit, and lit." Oh yeah, Thank oh, cool, oh yeah. Who yeah. introduced you to cocaine? The industry, or you was on it before? Um, I, I, it, uh, I was out with Lil Duval back in '03 on a promo tour. <laughs> Man, <laughs> the nigga <from> that <laughs> Well, and and so we was on a promo tour, and he went to go fuck these twins, and then I had went with um with his other dude that was with us named Cuzzo, and we we had goddamn found these these three hoes at this house, and I um. All these hoes was on cocaine. They had an eight ball over there. Yeah. And they, them, they said I couldn't fuck unless I had then got them to a bump. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all. That's the- God damn. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Welcome to cocaine. Yeah, uh, man, nigga, I, <laughs> nigga, I will pipe it up, pipe it up, pipe it up. Yeah, I was in that they motherfucker, stop you. bruh. I was in that butt nigga dr- dancing to genuine, snowing cocaine, fucked all them hoes, and uh, yeah, that's what it had started. But I never, but I, I went, I went fucked up like that because I never bought the shit. I always waited the nigga had. <laughs> Hey, and I waited till nigga had the shit. That's when I. I can respect so that though. Same. You know what I'm saying? I can respect that. Cause I ain't no crackhead. You know what I mean? you, you feel me? No. Okay. That's the only way you can not that. I respect that. If it's there. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. but, but yeah. if you out there, if you out there, this is good if coach. you out there talking about something, you seen, you, you seen where that nigga Ooh. at? Mm. Nah, I but if he that. going to the places every day where he know it's gonna be at, you no, just no. guilty. No, no, it was that was a coincidence, right? Yeah, yeah, it was good coincidence. So right. after that, it was just it was occasionally. Up. It was up and it stuck. Yeah, yeah, it was up and it stuck. <laughs> no, yeah, so so after up, that, you were like you were up and it stuck I, and occasionally too. Yeah, so, hold on. Yeah. So you, hold, yeah. hold on, Jack. Yeah. I'm trying to have you back now. I'm Co- Cokie Robinson Jr. <laughs> so now you you oh, making sure that, that it's provided at all parties. If they had it. Okay, okay. And I was like, may I have some please? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So you got mammals. That's how you spell the ass. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> just like how a you goddamn. Saying, Jack? Excuse me, may I have some please? <laughs> just like a great Poupon commercial. Do you have any more cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> Jack, who's some of your favorite athletes that wore glasses? Um, Stuart Scott. <laughs> A uh, horse grant. Okay. Oh. Uh, uh, Somebody asked you this before. You got some good. No, no. I, 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 I watch for it. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Um. Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade. He, he wore, wore glasses, glasses too. Yeah. Now. Uh. Um. Do that count? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. Let's see who else wore glasses. Sheesh. I can't really think of any off the top. Clyde, Clyde, Clyde Drexler. He sure Clyde did. the Glide. Yep, he the sure did. Uh, Eric Dickerson. Eric motherfucking wow. Dickerson. Oh, yeah, That's a sure. crazy. I got a chance to drink with Eric Dickerson before. For real? Yep. I mean, what y'all drink at? Yeah, yeah. And, and OJ Simpson. O, um, OJ Simpson, one of my favorite niggas in the world, man. Now, that's Damn, some legendary man. shit. Yeah, now, you got to yeah, tell yeah. us this OJ Simpson story. RIP to him. Yeah, uh, he used to live in Miami. Uh-huh. And uh, I, well, you, y'all know the uh, Coconut Grove shit? Yeah. yeah. He was at one of my comedy shows one night with uh, 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 Benji Brown was hosting. Okay. And uh, Brother Marquise was there. Uh, he opened up. Um, and uh, uh, OJ, he was, he was in the audience and stuff, man. And I, I fanned all the way the motherfucker out. Mm. And whatnot, because I wanted to meet OJ and the shit. He said I was funny as hell. Went up to him after the show. We had a couple of drinks and stuff. And you know what I'm saying? Um, I, uh, uh, he was asking me, uh, about, he asked me about my thong and shit. What what made me do that? <laughs> oh, you did that in front of OJ? Yeah, I, that's, I used to do that shit. That was my finisher. <laughs> that was my finisher on stage. Yeah, one of, OJ saw my ass. Yeah, definitely. The um, nigga probably walked up to you and said, <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> yeah, yeah. OJ was a cool motherfucker. Well, man. as a nigga, what made you what made you do that thong? Yeah, shit, yeah. Man? He said you you got a lot of balls, man. <laughs> you got a lot Literally. of balls. Yeah, one hundred percent, man. OJ said I had balls. But if if you were kicking it with OJ yeah. in Miami, yeah. what, what what years are these? I want to say this was like oh, uh, two thousand ten. Okay, so that's oh, this like, after he don't did his time and no, all. No, no, but this yeah, is this, yeah, this is after. I wonder if this is after. Not at oh, when he came after he did that bid in yeah, Vegas. Yeah, for the Jersey shit. Yeah, Benny I think, Brown, I think, Brown, a recent coming, coming. Okay, so yeah. what I'm saying is, OJ was on a tear then. Yes. In Miami. So yeah, you didn't hang with him outside the coming. No, nah, man, I would have definitely been, been coked. Oh, yeah, we'd have got coked up. Yeah, you and J- you and OJ together. OJ yeah. and Jack. Yeah, one hundred percent. Come on now, that's a daily combination. Jack and OJ. Jack and, Jack and OJ. OJ. Jack, now that's Jack a good drink OJ. for you right yeah. there. Right? Jack and yeah. OJ. But Jack yeah. and OJ could have did some what? Dang. Yeah, I, I would have loved to have been best friends with OJ. I, I was so pissed off at myself for not having the balls to ask for his number. If yeah. nigga say if he compliment you on your thong, you could have asked for his number. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Uh, yeah, man. I, mean, I was been, been been cool with a lot of cool ass niggas like uh athletes like goddamn um. What's uh, uh Zab Judah, Mike Tyson? That's nigga, where you where you hung with Mike Tyson at? Uh, she in in New York, but when he was um doing the uh, Broadway thing, yeah, yeah. I got See, I, you and Mike, I think y'all would mesh together good. Mike will understand you a lot. One hundred percent. Yeah, I he, see that. He, he was a <laughs> super cool ass nigga. <laughs> what did he say when he saw you? Uh, he he was like, yo, he got it. He used to call me the um, Magic Star Eye Guy. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah, we, we got classic interviews and everything. Where is he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, y'all gotta look it's that up. Look up my Mike, J- my Mike Tyson interviews. <laughs> yes, yeah. uh, uh, Zab Judah. Um, That's or, hard. Uh, uh, what's what's my man name? Winky Wright. Oh, 
Ooh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, niggas, classic boxers. Niggas what? forget yeah. Winky Wright. Floyd Mayweather. Right. Yeah. Damn. The Floyd Mayweather used to be at G Unit all the time. Yeah, before they fell out. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Well, I used to have a ball with Floyd Mayweather. Floyd had them hoes. Yeah, Floyd had all the fucking hoes. <laughs> all the hoes. Who you done been with and you done fucked the most hoes that? Who that? Um, uh, uh, I would have to say that that was Brian Pumper. <laughs> Brian Pumper, yeah, yeah. I Brian mean, Pumper had me fucking uh, straight up porn stars, nigga. Because to this day, man, I was only with Brian Pumper for two weeks. Damn. But to this day. Uh, 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 people still think I'm a porn star because of Brian Pumper. Yeah, two weeks. So you was online fucking with Brian Pumper? Yeah, we did. We we started out doing an interview. Then you know what I'm saying when he had um uh paid me to come do uh bust another die trying with him and whatnot. I yeah, yeah we we shot that for like a week. Yeah. <laughs> so explain. All right, let's talk about bust another die trying. What yeah. was that about? Like what? How they came it's, it's, about? It's, 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 <laughs> like say it again. The compilation was it a? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, it was how many people like was included? Uh, it, it, on, if you go look at the box, it's probably about like <laughs> <laughs> ten hoes on there, ten hoes, <laughs> and just me and him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. y'all compete? No, no. He he will be he'll fuck him first, and. <laughs> So hold on, it's ten holes in there, yeah. and you waited till he touched every tenth hole. Like you, you like if he was hitting one, you couldn't just hit. You, you I, I had a condom on. I had a condom on. Yes. No, yeah, no, but no. Just still, I you had to wait. I just right. got my HIV test back now. But I'm saying, no, I know no. we're not saying that. Jack, but I'm me? saying you, he's saying you had to wait till Brian hit him first. Oh yeah, yeah, that's just business. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. no, what I'm saying, no, yeah. I get. No, what I'm saying is, look, if he hitting two of them, right? Uh -huh. You couldn't hit the other one? Another, like, like, a, like a knife? You could the, the, hit one the of them? six or seven holes? Man, I, gotta, I, I, I can't really, I can't um perform with another nigga in the room. <laughs> oh, he was still in the room? Oh, so you were waiting to get the fuck out? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I can respect yeah, that. I, I can respect I, that. I, I, I can respect I, that like I, a I, motherfucker. You nigga got to get the fuck. Like, I don't, I don't I really understand that. the concept of trains and all that shit. <laughs> I don't want to ever, I feel like you, you got to be gay if you can get hard with a nigga in the room. I can respect that, bro. I don't, that shit, that all. Just hear the nigga voice in there and all that. <laughs> yeah, dog. <laughs> yeah. Tell her ass up, Jack. I see yeah. you, boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. A nigga, yeah. Kind of nigga. High five your ass and all that old stupid shit. No, man. Ain't no way. I don't need your help fucking her. I don't need, I'm good. I'm all right. You know what I'm saying? This shit is hard to, 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 to get hard. I, I can't fuck with it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm, I'm a honey pack jack right now. You are. Are you on the honey pack? I'm on the honey hey, pack. Hey, you came to the live Blue show. How, how you think the live show was? Man, that, that shit was amazing, man. Uh, I had blacked out, though. Oh, yeah, yeah I don't, I don't, I, I don't, I don't remember shit from there. I knew the way you were talking. You was about to black out. <laughs> yeah, I am. You I'm came black in that bitch swinging. Yeah, I, hey man, I apologize, guys. No, no, what? You know, no, no. If, what you if I showed my ass, no, 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 not no, 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 you ain't no. show your ass. Not no, how you show jazz in front of the mother. I mean, OJ. figuratively. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. You ain't put that OJ out there. <laughs> yeah, but because I was with somebody, was like, hey man, what was wrong with you that night? I said, what was wrong with me that night? <laughs> no, I think that's just you, yeah. Jack. Like, no, what did I do? That, yeah, I'm saying like yeah. you were just talking, like you being yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You pop, of, I ain't gonna lie, you cut, low key pop that shit off. Yeah. And man, I, I, I appreciate that, y'all. Yeah. And because when y'all called me, I was like, man, God, damn, I'm, I'm gonna be on the Nab Green show. Because we were talking about this on my show about a couple years ago. And I was like, hey, nigga, you, you really did goddamn live up to your goddamn word about what was gonna happen to me and you on this show. What I said. And you was like, well, shit, uh, you know, make sure you tune in. Man, Jay, we was just bullshit talking. That was, that, that, up, was two, that was about two or three years no, ago. No, I, I was telling Jack who I was going to have on the show, and I never said his name. He was like, <laughs> what about me? I said, just tune in, Jack. <laughs> but no, bro, we've been trying to get, we've been trying to, we never knew what the show, because at first it wasn't going to be a, a sports show. We were just going to do a show. So we never did that show. So this this is a broken play show now, so. This is amazing, man. I'm, I'm really, really happy to be here. Yeah, and I love what you didn't did and whatnot, man. This is just so successful. Man. Your co 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 host, man. They they off the charts and man, whatnot. Reg, they know what the fuck Reg, they doing. Bro, Reggie wanted you on this one for a long oh, time. Man. Hey, I told you that nigga. You one of my favorites over here, yeah, bro. That, 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 that nigga Reggie dog. been saying, he my like, dog. We man, get thank Jack you, on. dog. Nah, he on. <laughs> <laughs>
Just salute him. He ain't, he ain't in arm's reach. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Lou Young next to you. That, 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 that's my dog right here. Yeah, 100%. Bro, Lou is funny as fuck. You be He's saying hilarious. Lot? Yeah. Yeah, I saw, I saw him on 4th uh, and 1. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I watch his skits and everything. After that, uh, after um that night, I had a, I had him brushed up on Lou and everything and uh and, and Reggie and whatnot, and I, I got completely caught up. That's what's oh, okay, up. okay. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One hundred percent. Who you yeah. done been starstruck by before? Starstruck, oh, Jamie Fox. Damn, Jamie Fox, oh four. Um, this was Laugh Palooza. Uh, he used to be here every way every uh a year doing Laugh of Palooza uh-huh. for um. The comedians, the uh, the new, yeah, yeah. new faces, shit. Uh-huh. But yeah, so this particular uh, uh, laugh of Palooza, this was like when Ray was coming out. Oh, oh so he had the shit. height. He had the height. He shit. motherfucking what? Jamie Fox. Yeah, he he Jamie music fucking Fox. Music, yeah. platinum albums, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. Fresh off the show. Goddamn. Um, the uh, uh, who else is the, 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 was a brand new nigga? Fucking Dwayne Wade is a brand new nigga. He's there with Shaq. This first time I seen Shaq too. Oh. I was so scared of this nigga that I, I couldn't even walk up on him and say what's up because he was so tall and whatnot. But Dwayne, I walked right up into him and and he was just super cool. I met Kenny the Jet Smith, all these different motherfuckers. I, I um let me get to the Jamie Foxx thing. I had this card, this business card, and I think I might have gave you one too. Now back in the day, uh, it, it was a, a myself. Uh, uh, it says it was uh the Thriller cover and the bad cover with my head on Michael Jackson body. And one side it said Honey Buns Thriller, and the other side it said uh bad uh, Honey Buns bad. And I gave this card to Marcus King, which is Jamie Foxx manager, manager yeah. at the time. And he was like, "This funny as fuck. I'm gonna get this shit to Jamie. He gonna love this." I like, man, get the fuck out of here. You ain't finna give my shit to Jamie because I'm the biggest. Jamie Foxx fan in the fucking world, man. Okay. That's, that's, he, he number one to me. Number one. I hear number fucking one. He, yeah, talented. Very talented. Yeah, yeah very super talented, talented man. Yeah. So, uh, I, I gave the Marcus Kima card. I started doing, we, uh, going around getting drops and stuff for my DVD called Comedians Gone Wild at the time. With Kennedy the Jet Smith, Tank, um, Steve Urkel, Kevin Hart, he was there. We, we was already friends, though. Um, uh, uh, who else was there? Morris Chestnut, um, uh, Clifton Powell. Okay. Uh, 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 I already said Steve Urkel. Who else? Oh, Morris Day in the Time. Um, Damn. Man. Yeah, it it was it, it was stacked in there. Um, uh, uh, and so I seen Jamie Foxx right out in front of the, the Four Seasons Hotel, mm-hmm. in front of the Lamborghini, with one of the baddest fucking hoes I ever seen in my <laughs> life. Uh, you know, I'm, Nick, you don't see no bitches like this in Atlanta. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we only had three kind of bitches in Atlanta. Black, white, and Mexican. This bitch was Latino. Yeah. Like one of the motherfuckers you see on TV, like on goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I got you, it. You don't see hoes like this. This you bitch was said. exotic than a motherfucker. She had a fat ass, <laughs> flat stomach, and that shit was out on some J-Lo shit. And long ass hair, like it was blonde and shit. And this nigga Jamie got down, got his hand all on her ass, and got down, then he got his hand up her ass in front of the four seasons. <laughs> and I'm like, I'd have heard him blow up. So I started trying to walk to walk up to Jamie Fox. I said, I gotta meet this nigga. Yeah. I walk up on him, and then I I I I'll get right up on the guy and I stop and I start walking around him and the girl, and I'm scaring the shit out of this nigga, not knowing <laughs> that I'm doing it. And um, I, I, I was doing this shit right here. <laughs> he pacing around the <laughs> I, I couldn't get it out. I couldn't get the shit out. And I was like, hey, J- hey, Jamie, how you doing? My name is Honey Bun, and I'm an up and coming comedian, and I'm a really big fan. And he, 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 uh, he said, oh, you Honey Bun, I got your business card. Keep on up and coming. And he walked off. And I was like, okay. And I, 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 I walked off and shit. And I was like, damn, I couldn't get a drop from him. So the, the, uh, the next day, I seen the nigga again. And I was like, I got my camera. I'm with my, bo- my boy Gabriel Hart. Uh-huh. Uh, and we, uh, he, uh, his name is Video God now. Yeah, he, he turned up after that. He's then. super turned yeah. up now. You did Versace, Versace, Versace. Uh-huh. He, the one, he was the one that directed uh, My President is Black. Oh, and all the Jesus man. videos that I did. Uh, yeah, all, all the uh, City Girl shit, all that. The baby shit, he did that shit. Migos. But anyway, uh, uh, the next day, I'm over here. I'm seeing Jamie Foxx in front of another car with, with uh, some more hoes and Johnny Mac. And I approached Jamie Foxx, and uh, Johnny Mac stopped me. 
and uh, and uh, his uh, chef was right there too. And Jenny Mac stopped me. He said, "Hey, what's up?" I said, uh, "My name is Honey Bun. I wanted to get a um, a drop from uh, Jamie for my DVD. Comedians Gone Wild." And so he was like, "Oh, okay, cool." And he said, "Hey, Jamie, um, uh, uh, he just want to get a drop for his DVD and everything. Can can you give him a drop?" He said, "Tell that nigga I want to do that shit." Mm-hmm. And he said, "Hey, man, can you come back a little bit later?" Jamie? <laughs> He's like, uh, if Jamie's gonna get. He got. I promise you, gonna do that shit later. I said, no, he didn't say that. He said, tell that nigga I want to do that shit. And uh, so you know, it felt like it started raining at that particular point. Bro, did he was so he said loud enough. He so said it loud him. enough so I could hear him say that shit. And uh, yeah, he said, tell that nigga I want to do that shit. And so he, they walk off, and his his chef stay behind. He and his chef gave me a backstage pass. He said, hey, I'm gonna make sure you get that shit tomorrow. Damn. And uh, he gave me the backstage pass and whatnot. This is the, part of the uh, pass to the after party. Just showing up, I got you. And uh, um, so what I did, I went to my homeboy print shop, and I had made a gang of copies of that motherfucker. I made about 25 of them bitches. <laughs> Next night, I get back, to, I get over to Laugh of Palooza. I'm selling them bitches for 250 a piece out in front of the uh, uh, center stage. And then Nard walk up. Nard... I was like, yo, what's up, Noah? What's up, baby? I'm, I'm, Noah, me and Noah is arch enemies. Mm-hmm. Noah hates my fucking guts. <laughs> and uh, he said, hey, man, keep talking shit, nigga. I'm going to goddamn tell uh, Jamie them and that you goddamn out here selling them fucking passes and shit. Like, this bitch-ass nigga. <laughs> I sold all my fucking passes. I got man. I had Jamie Foxx's dressing room looking fucking crazy. <laughs> 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 okay, and I, I, uh, so I just sold all that shit. I didn't have, but I don't know. I think I made him make it over three thousand dollars or something yes, selling sir. this nigga shit. Oh, um, and I go backstage and I see Jamie and I, I whisper in his ear. I don't know why I did this shit, y'all. Don't judge me. You the shit. <laughs> and I just walked off. And he said, man, what the fuck? And um <laughs> and, and, I, and all of a sudden, it was an announcement came over in the building. Jamie Foxx's grandmama just died. And so just said the entertainer took over for me and hosted the shit. And then I had went to the uh the, that same after party and I never did get the drop. Yeah. And uh um I, I parted with Steve Urkel, Morris Chestnut, and goddamn Clifton Powell, and we were fucking these white bitches. And that was my Jamie Foxx story. Man, Jay, I think that's enough for you. <laughs> you ain't never lied. Yeah. That. Yeah. Oh, uh, but to this day, me, me and Jamie Foxx, we cool now that I'm Jack Thriller. That's hard. Okay, that's Later on, saying. he ain't no honey bun, but 10 years later, he I became Jack, Jack Thriller. Thriller. Happy ended. Man, uh, <laughs> shit, man, we appreciate you pushing up on Man, us, I man. appreciate y'all having me here, man. Hey, I got you a gift. <laughs> Can you pass this? Yeah, to yeah, this yeah. <laughs> that nigga. What is this, man? Bust it open. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to say pause, it, Jay. It's called a bro bag. It's called a bro bag. So what a bro bag is? It's like an overnight bag for That's a man. Exactly what it is. Okay. It's an overnight bag. So everything you need when you're going over these hoes' house is inside really, that bag. It's really a whole bag, but it's for your bros. That's for your bros. Yeah. Damn, so check Jack. out all the stuff that you got in there, my boy. Look what I got you, my boy. Damn, Jack, I feel bad. We ain't got nothing for you. Bro, you know, you gotta oh, give me no- the whole <laughs> charger kit, Jack? Yep. Oh, man, that's, that's hard. Fun. And it's a real leather bag. Colors, both sizes. Come on, Never man. know. Never <laughs> know. Come on, man. <laughs> one when you on soft. When yeah. you dummy worm. <laughs> What? When you forcing it, oh, fingernail sh- clippers. Come on, bro. Hey, that's hard. Damn, Jack. Come on, bro. You see what guy? Hey, do? Where, where can we get this, Jack? Uh, uh-uh, uh. At bro bag. And they got uh, face at my bro bag. Man. At my bro bag on Instagram. Bro bag. Yep. Damn, Jack. Man, this is lit. I got. You. I gotta keep because you gave it to. I was gonna say I was gonna regift this month, but I'm not. Hey, I'm, bro. Listen. I'm gonna give it to my dad for Father's Day, but bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's the gift that keeps on giving, man. That shit hard. Nah, this hard. Jack. Hey, dog. No, I'm, 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 I sense of sincerely apologize. I ain't bring y'all. I'm gonna get y'all one too. No, we don't mind. Oh, he said no, mind. Appreciate it. Hey, yeah, 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 y'all yeah. won't be offended, right? I need one. Yeah, okay. They want no, one. No, Jack. I need one. Cool, cool, cool. Matter of fact, Jack, I'm not gonna use mine until they get there. So y'all out on the town with hoes together, y'all? No, no, I'm not saying no. Jack, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I don't want to be having one and they ain't got one. 
That's all he said, Jack. Jack said, that's all so what you saying, nigga, is what? <laughs> oh, okay, I thought y'all was going to go on a triple date or something. No, no, no. 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 Okay. Everybody here, we good guys, man. We ain't on that shit you on, Jack. Okay. <laughs> what, what's the shit I'm on? You, you, what's another I, dot you, you fuck new hoe by the air, air, air week. You f- try to fuck a new hoe, don't you? Hey, dog, it, it's too much responsibility for to put on one hoe for me. Man, hey. It's too much. You don't use the before? <laughs> you don't use the bag before? Oh, not that one. Not that one. No. It, I guess there might be a leather smell or something. You know, that leather no, no, be no, sometimes. Yeah, that's it's a fresh leather smell. It's yeah. like pussy. That's fresh yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Nah, oh. Smell, hey, smash that a little. Don't smell that shit. Man, you done fucked in this shit before, Jack. <laughs> no, I, I just be around pussy It's a, a very suggestive smell in that, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> hey, Master Jack. Now, nah, Jack, your Jack. Sm- Now, your senses is all the way up. Jack, yeah, yeah, come on. you put some coochie in this bag. <laughs> Jack. It, it, it's made from the greatest things on earth. It do smell like pussy, don't it? Yeah, I'm <laughs> on this shit. Jay, what you got going on, bro? You gotta take oh, your man. I thought I was tripping. That's the new leather smell. That, that's not the. Yeah, pass it to your home, boy. Yeah, Jack. Let me, hey, yeah, let me see. I watch it. And then pass it to Dom. <laughs> it must Keep be this shit of... going. Oh. Yeah. I'm yeah. not tripping. No, nah, that's some that's some smell catfish. Yeah. That might be the. the, the I might have had some. Um, Fish Delight on there or something like well, that. We had the shit in a plastic bag. So it's in a plastic bag. That motherfucker came from the seafood aisle. I'm nigga. telling you <laughs> something. Hey. It's great, man. They're hey. trying to make that motherfucker too out there. Man, we finished. Jack, Jack. <laughs> Full of okay, I am, man. <laughs> Come Jack on. Jack done gave me a pussy hey, bag. That's a cut. They don't <laughs> even <laughs> put the shoes in They don't even have that in the public seafood yeah. section. Yeah. Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Jack, you smell that. We was going for authentic, authenticity. <laughs> 